Letitia would like to bring in the new year with her ex-fiance, Omari. Yeah. Now, they were supposed to get married in August of the next year. Right, the true millennium. She called the wedding off. Oh. <laughs> yes. Pourquoi? Well, Sally, first of all, I want to thank you so much for having me here. I'm very honored to be here. Thank, thank you so you. much. I called off the wedding because Omari proposed to me and then took a job offer out of state. How many miles away? California. So it had to be, I don't know how far, but I was living in Texas, so oh. <laughs> too far for me. Um, and you didn't want to go with your, stand by your man. You didn't want to stand did. by your man. I accepted the proposal because he promised me that he would return in six months. Eventually, six months turned into a year. During that time, I had um, ordered catalogs, I had ordered invitations, I had chosen a dress, looked at banquet halls, all those types of things. So, so we dated, and for the first three months, I mean, I'm from a small town, I'm real slow. I didn't kiss him, didn't show him any affection, <laughs> anything. And like I said, he's one of these real big cocky guys. He was like, so what's wrong? Am I losing my touch or what? I mean, we didn't, I mean, sex was not even a question. I mean, we wouldn't even kiss, touch, anything. Now, wait a minute. We've got 11-year-olds who come on this show who put not out me. the first. <laughs> I've made it too far. away from home for the first time, 18 years old, I was in college, I went there with a purpose, and having sex and getting pregnant was not one of those purposes. Good for you. Um, we continued to, we continued to date um, for over a year. I mean, I fell in love with him over that time. I mean, we did a lot of things whoa, together. Whoa, 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 you have the catalogs, you've got the guy. You, why did you break off the engagement? Well, after, um, I forgot to mention that we had got an apartment together after our first year. Whoa. Signed a lease and everything. And this was in May, after he graduated. And he had already signed on to take a job in town. And so I thought everything was going to be great. I had um, one more year of school left. I thought, you know, everything's going to work out. Um, we got the apartment in May. In June, he got the job offer. And he took the job. But on the day before he left, he proposed to me. And he promised me that he was going to return in six months, that he would be able to transfer. And like I said, that year turned into, I mean, that six months turned into a year, year and a half. It's been two years now. What will be different now? What will be different now is that I am graduating in May of 2001. Oh, okay. With so my bachelor's degree. I'm proud of you. Yes. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And like you said, this is the true new millennium. I mean, my options are open. I have a criminal justice. I will be having a criminal justice degree. I can go to law school. I can get a job. And I'll be willing to move to California now. For him. For him. I want him in my life. I'm wearing it on my left hand now. Right. But I want him to put it. I'm wearing it on my right hand, excuse me. But I want him to put it back on my left hand for the new millennium. I want him to. Yeah. I just don't feel and like. And you'll go out with him on New Year's Eve? Definitely. If he's up for it, I'm for it. I just. I'm okay. still in love with him. I've been in love with him for. It's been almost three years now. And I just can't. See, I'm dying to know what he's like. Yes. All right, you go backstage. I'm going to bring him out, and I'll try and psych him out for you, okay? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Good old acquaintance. <laughs> Probably be shocked when he finds out his ex-fiance wants him back in her arms again. Let's see if he has any clue. Will you have Omari come out? Have uh, you any idea who is interested in you? It could be my ex finance And we're not say ex finance Finance? My, yes, because my fiance. My, 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 wait, 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 So, 
So what what happened between you and the ex? Beyonce. Well, that's my college sweetheart. You know, everything was going good for um, two years. The events even went sour, and I graduated, came to California to work in my field, and she was still in school, going to Texas in Texas, and we decided to go for a long distance relationship, but it didn't work out. So we lost contact. Well, you ready to see who it is? Yes, bring her on out. Okay. Mystery guest, come on out. Leticia, <laughs> what would you like to say to Omari? Omari, yes. I'm shocked, first of all, but I brought you all this way because I'm still in love with you. I mean, I've told you I don't know how many times. I just, um, when I broke off the engagement, I made a rash decision. Um, I'll, we both have our careers, but it won't mean anything if we don't have each other. And I still feel that way. And I'd like to start the new millennium with you in my life. I'm wearing the ring that you gave me on my right hand. Right. I'd like you to put it back on my left. <laughs> for the new well. <laughs> well, I've been kind of dating somebody, oh. but I would love to remain friends and 